Hey, what's up, folks? How's it going? This is Wad. Hope you guys are all doing well. And for the past couple of weeks, I've been testing out the new DJI Spark drone. And what I wanted to do is actually see how it compared against probably one of my favorite drones out there, the Mavic Pro. And now we're going to take a look at the overall design and feature sets of both flying camera platforms and see which one is right for you. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the overall physical size comparison between the two. Here we have both units side by side. Now, the cool thing about the Mavic Pro is that it has foldable arms so it's actually really really uh, mobile friendly you can pretty much carry it with you anywhere you go in a small bag uh, it only measures about 83 millimeters in terms of width and about 198 millimeters in terms of length so it is a little bit longer than the Spark unfortunately the Spark doesn't have a foldable design but it's fairly compact at around 143 millimeters by 143 millimeters and it's also a little bit uh, shorter in terms of its overall thickness at 55 millimeters versus 83 millimeters for the Mavic Pro. Now the cool thing about the Spark is that you can actually launch it off of your hand so it actually weighs uh, less than half of the Mavic Pro around 300 grams versus the Mavic is around 734 grams and that's really one of the key distinctions between the Spark from the other uh, drones from DJI is the fact that it's uh, pretty much something you can have with you at all times. You can put it in your backpack and get a small carrying case with it and you don't necessarily need to use a smartphone or dedicated controller to actually use the thing. Uh, you can launch it off of your hand. It actually recognizes your face by doing so and uh, using the palm control method you can do some basic commands such as moving the drone left, right, up and down, etc. You can also uh, utilize some of its gesture capabilities so uh, you can make it follow you, uh, take selfies and it also has some basic obstacle avoidance technology uh, to keep it safely in the air and avoid obstacles and hazards in the environment and plus you can also land the drone once you're done using it right on the palm of your hand very very cool stuff and all of these features actually uh, work really really nicely I've been testing out for a couple of weeks haven't had any major hiccups to report thus far now even though the spark can be used without any smartphone or dedicated controller you can still control the drone with using the on screen controls on your smartphone range is limited to about 100 meters based on your wi-fi uh, signal strength between uh, the drone and your smartphone but if you do decide to get uh, the dedicated spark controller which is very similar uh, to the one found with the mavic you can increase uh, the uh, distance uh, to two kilometers and you'll get a much stronger capable uh, drone by using that controller and plus it's nice to have physical controls in those certain times where you want to be a little bit more creative with your drone flying capabilities. Now when it comes to the feature sets, when comparing the Mavic Pro uh, to the Spark, uh, you'll soon uncover that the Mavic Pro is pretty much a very fully featured uh, flying camera platform. Firstly, one of the big advantages is battery life, and that's probably the weakest part of the uh, Spark drone. I typically got anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes. DJI rates the battery for about 16 minutes, and the capacity is uh, 1480 milliamp hours, versus we have a 30 a 30 milliamp hour battery on the Mavic Pro. DJI rates it for around 27 minutes. I typically get anywhere between 18 to 25 minutes uh, depending upon how I'm flying the drone which is really really good. Almost double the battery capabilities of the Spark which is pretty uh, darn impressive. Now in terms of flight dynamics and capabilities, uh, firstly the Mavic Pro is very stable in terms of its hover deviations. is very very minimum. It also has a higher top speed capabilities, a faster descent capabilities so it's certainly a much more capable uh, drone by itself in terms of range uh, the controller that comes with the Mavic Pro allows it to go up to seven kilometers for unobstructed maximum communication distance versus with the dedicated spark controller that does not come with the spark drone you get a maximum distance of about two kilometers which isn't bad but still not nowhere near as powerful as what you get with the Mavic Pro and also the uh, HD feed that comes uh, from the camera to your smartphone is a lot more consistent and better quality overall on the Mavic as well. Now both cameras on these drones are effectively stabilized with a 3-axis gimbal uh, so uh, your footage is going to look pretty smooth on both platforms. In terms of actual uh, sensor of uh, the camera, both are using a half point three inch CMOS chip with 12 effective megapixels and uh, the uh, field of 
view or the lenses on both of them are a little bit different. The Mavic has a more slightly telephoto 28 millimeter lens gives you effective field of view about 78.8 degrees versus a 25 millimeter lens is found on the Spark giving that a field of view about 81.9 so a little bit wider. Uh, the uh, aperture is a little bit larger on the Mavic so f2.2 versus f2.6 on the Spark so low light capabilities might be slightly better on the uh, Mavic but when it comes to overall resolution and camera capabilities and everything like that the uh, Mavic Pro has the Spark completely beat. Basically the Spark can really be limited to about 1080p at 30 fps. This is really not a cinema quality uh, grade drone. It's really something of a companion piece again uh, built for a price and a budget kind of an ideal drone for somebody just starting out and doesn't want to fork over a lot of cash for their first drone. Uh, now the Mavic can do uh, cinema 4K at uh, 24 frames per second, standard uh, Ultra HD uh, 3840 by 2160 from 24 to 30 FPS, also can shoot quad HD and full HD uh, up to 96 frames per second and if you want to do a little bit of slow motion it has that capability of uh, shooting up to 180 frames per second at 720p also the maximum bit rate on the mavic is more than double of the spark at 60 megabits per second versus 24 megabits per second so in terms of video quality and overall footage uh, there's really no contest or competition the mavic pro wins hands down and that's understandable because again uh, the spark is really kind of an entry model drone great for first time drone operators now with all that in terms of the price perspective the mavic Pro uh, starts around a thousand dollars for the drone and the controller itself uh, versus the Spark uh, just by the drone itself uh, is uh, purchased around for around $499 and if you want the Spark controller it's another $149 on top of the, the drone but again it's not mandatory to buy the Spark controller you can utilize it with just a smartphone or even just with the palm controlling features as we mentioned earlier in the video so generally speaking uh, for half the price, you can still get a pretty darn cool drone uh, to operate using your hand or with your smartphone. But if you want something a little bit more capable, certainly something that uh, has a little bit more range and distance uh, capabilities, I would probably recommend somebody to eventually get the Spark controller. It's a great companion piece. But besides that, guys, hopefully this video gave you some sort of insight between the differences between these two flying camera platforms at a much more compact size. Overall, the Mavic Pro is still one of the best drones out there in the market when it comes to feature sets, design, and everything like that. So I would still recommend it above anything else. But if you're on a little bit of a budget and are not that serious in terms of getting the absolute best quality, uh, the Spark is a great entry point. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out the description for more detailed information about everything we talked about, and we'll see you next time. Take care.